Welcome back to Unseamed. Today I'm about to show you some new reigning champs pieces and some new balance sneakers. We all know when it comes to black and white tees, they're the quintessential cornerstone of any wardrobe. So I'm always on the hunt for one that's unanimously the best one when it comes to quality and when it comes to fit and whatnot. So I went ahead, I copped two shirts from Raining Champs. And for those that don't know, uh, Raining Champs does premium athletic wear based out of Vancouver, BC. All of uh, the apparel that they put out, they're handmade in Canada. And uh, for added context, Cred Atkinson, which is the founder of the manufacturer CYC and its two subsidiaries, Raining Champs and Wings and Horns. So what he's allowed to do for CYC Design Corporation, which is the backbone of those two brands, is allow it to be synonymous with made in Canada. The brand's color palette has always remained tone neutral. So that's like blacks and grays and navy blues and um, they've always been committed to quality as opposed to quantity. Uh, th that's why they uh, put out timeless pieces that are essential for any wardrobe. And um, there's a story why Rainy Champs is known for its deep quality when it comes to the clothes. And the story behind that is that Prior to founding CYC, Craig acted as a middleman, so he sourced sneakers, denims, and vintage apparel in the United States and Canada to then be sold in boutiques all across Japan. Uh, and when he was not able to source certain particular pieces based on the demands of the retailer, he started to produce white label goods for brands in Japan, including department stores like Beams and United Arrows. That has led him to work most notably with Supreme and Arcteryx and so on. He has become one of the industry's most reliable and in demand when it comes to athletic wear products. So first I'm about to show y'all the um, copper jersey relaxed tee. These are dyed in black in LA for a vintage inspired finish and they're intended to fade with time and the more you wear it and uh, wash it. These are made with uh, copper infused fibers to wick away order. It is a relaxed fit with a drop shoulder and um, a rib bound collar. And uh, you can tell by the stitching that um, it's of quality. There's thick stitching on the side and between all the seams and whatnot. And it has the uh, classic. So this, the label here and the stitch label in the back. I'm interested to see how this holds up with time. And um, there's the emblem also here on the right side of the T. At the end, I'll show you all what they, I'll show you what they look like on body, each one of them. So that was the black one I copped. I also copped a second one. So the second one, this is a different model than the copper jersey. This is their Polar Tech Delta, and it's a lightweight uh, pike. This one is different because it's made um, essentially to be more of a, like a cooling fabric. It's uh, made to increase airflow and dispense um, moisture and reduce sweat. It's more of an athletic piece than an everyday piece, but it can be used for both. And raglan sleeves, it has the exposed stitching in the back like the last one. See right here. That's the label. And if you look closely, it's, it's different material. It's different material than the copper jersey. It is more of a athletic piece. This is what they call fog. I wanted one that was white online, it didn't seem that dark, but honestly I like the color. 
uh, I don't mind it at all. Yeah, so those are the two shirts. The um, Polar Tech Delta and the Copper Jersey. The Copper Jersey is more soft to the touch. This one I feel like aesthetically uh, appealed to me more on body, that is. Um, but yeah, it's personal taste. I like the fall color. I don't see too many shirts with that color. Quite a toned down gray, so I I like that a lot. I also picked up some also picked up some mesh shorts from them. I am a runner. I run in the summertime at least almost 100 miles a month, so I'm out and about a lot when it comes to that and I wanted something that was technical. Um, and I wanted to see what um, Raining Champs had to offer. I haven't, I've never used any of their products for um, athletic reasons, so uh, I wanted to cop the short and see what that was about. This one is their mesh running shorts. It's a five inch inseam and um, it's breathable because it's mesh. It's handmade in Canada and the mesh is uh, moisture wicking and antimicrobial. It has a um, built-in interliner made from water resistant material. Um, it's their Polar Tech and um, one of their own technology, it's called um, Power Dry. So that's what the liner is composed of, um, combination of those two. Essentially the base fabric is made to pull away moisture. It has a zipper phone pocket or key or any accessories here in the back. It's 15 by 10, so 10 centimeters deep, 50 cent centimeters uh, wide. It has an elastic waistband and draw strings with a small Raining Champs emblem all across them. Yeah. We'll see how this one holds up in the summertime. Now I can't put these on because the snow has come to Canada. So um, I'll test these ones out come springtime. But they seem like they're of good quality. Mesh is always good for long distance runs. I tend to do 10K each session, so um, they'll hold up well. I hope so. So that was the Raining Champs pieces. Now on to the New Balance sneakers. I also went ahead and uh, copped some New Balance 990s version five. Uh, gray ones. They're low top panel um, suede and mesh all across. It has a it has a round toe and a laced up closure in white. They have an enameled logo and silver tone on the uh, padded tongue here. Um, they have an ortholite insole and an end cap foam rubber midsole. Yeah, these ones are very muted, almost like a 3M and a couple shades of gray. Um, you can never go wrong with all gray sneakers. Uh, these can be combined with almost any ensemble. Yeah, matte clean and, and all that. Um, this one I um, actually chose the white foot as opposed to regular. Uh, I wanted to test that out, see how I felt. Here are some of the pieces. The copper jersey sat well on body. The sleeves were an inch above the elbow and a couple of inches below the waist. This one was in small as well as the Polar Tech Delta T and uh, the shorts. As for the Polar Tech Delta of T, that one feels the best on body. Yeah. And it has a bit of a tighter fit than the relaxed copper. Yeah. When it 
came to the shores, there was minimal constrictions. That made it ideal for any exercise that you plan to do, especially when it comes to running. Yeah, so that's all for the products. We'll see how these hold up, what time and where. Uh, when I find a black tea that I like a lot, I like to load up on them as much as I can. But yeah, you tell me which model you like the most of Raining Champs, if you like them at all. If you can please subscribe, comment, and like. We're a new channel, so we would deeply appreciate all the help. And uh, as always, bless up, and we'll catch you on the next one.